Okay, so in this video, we're going to explain how lenses work in the eye and how eye defects, so vision defects, can be fixed using different types of lenses and glasses. Before we get onto that, we need to really look at normal vision and, and see how it, how, it, how it all works. So at the front of your eye, there is a, a lens uh, just behind the pupil, and the job of that lens is to focus light coming from objects onto the retina, which is the pink uh, shaded area on the back of the eye there. The eye is on the right. So this person here is looking at a tree in the distance. The converging lens, so the uh, convex lens at the front of the eye, is very thin. Uh, it's got a focal length slightly further back, so the focal length remember, measures how far away the focal point is from the center of the lens. And we treat this, although it's the eye, we treat it in the same way as any lens. So we need a principal axis. The lens has to have a center line running down, down the middle there. And we use our same rules. So there's our focal point. We know that uh, light from the top of the object comes parallel to the principal axis. It then changes direction through the lens, through the focal point, uh, and it hits the back of the, the retina there. Uh, light from the top goes through the center to there. And we get an image produced. This image is a real, inverted, reduced image. It's interesting to note that, that all images we see in our eye are, are inverted. Um, it takes, apparently, it takes around 12 days for your brain to, to, um, to switch the image you're seeing to do that. What happens if we look at an image that's a bit closer? Well, the lens changes shape. So what happens is the focal point comes much closer to the lens, so that the image produced now, again, is produced on that retina. So we have to move the focal point towards the lens. To do that, the curvature of the lens has to increase, and we do that using the ciliary muscles. Now, if you're short-sighted, that means you can't focus on far away objects. So we're going to look at the, the nearby object first of all, so the one at the bottom here. What happens with a nearby object? Well, near seeing things that are close, absolutely fine. So it happens in exactly the right way, and we get to see it. Now, what happens if you can't, object, can't focus on far objects is this. The image appears, it doesn't appear on the back of the eyes, which means you end up with a blurred image, out of focus image. The lens is unable to get flat enough. So the, the focal point is too close to the lens. It can't be far enough away. Uh, so the image is formed way too early. And how do you sort that out? Well, you, you need to spread those ray lines out a little bit, and we use that. Uh, we use a diverging lens, okay? So a concave lens there to help. Long-sighted, it's the opposite. It means you can't focus on near objects. So a far object, no problem at all. But a near object, such as one down here, uh, one at the bottom of the tree here, the near object, what happens there is the lens can't get fat enough. So it can't move the focal point close enough to it. And what ends up happening is the image is produced behind the eye. And obviously no image is produced. All we see is what ever hits the retina. That's a blurry image. That because the two ray lines don't meet on the retina, it means the, the top of the tree isn't a clear, sharp picture. So the lens is unable to curve enough. Um, the image is behind. So what we need is the, the ray lines need help there to converge. So what we do is we put a lens in front in our glasses, and that lens would be a converging lens. That's how the lens in our eye works and how glasses help sort out sight defects.